Hi folks, what can I get for you? So where are you from? I have a girlfriend. Can I get you guys anything else? Doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm actually meeting somebody. Me? So. She's meeting me. No. Hello? Mom? Hey, Sammy. Are you okay? I think I'm having a heart attack. You're young, so a heart attack is unlikely. But not impossible. No, not impossible. My heart is racing. I'm nauseous. I'm sweating. I want to scream. How long has your heart been racing? Fif 16 minutes. Do you want me to come get you? Yeah. I'm sorry I keep... There's nothing to be sorry about. Dry your eyes, we're going to the movies. Hey there. Hadn't heard from you in a hot minute. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, I just... I know, your mom told me you've been going through a hard time. Yeah. Well, come riding with me, it, it'll help.
give me a few minutes to get ready? Yes. You can wait out here, though. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. It's okay though. It's dead now. So I think I'm gonna get fired tomorrow. Why? No call, no show. They're really strict about it. Like I could still call in tomorrow and they would still threaten to fire me. It's not like bar staff are irreplaceable. I cannot bring myself to go back into that building. So I'm just gonna get in bed, knock it up, just let it happen. I suppose there are worse ways to go out. It's a shame though. I didn't have time to orchestrate a proper send off. What do you mean? Well, I always had this dream that in the weeks leading up to me quitting, I would pee in the corner of my manager's office. Just right there on the carpet. Just a little on Saturdays, because he's off then. Just build it up over time so he doesn't realize how much piss he's breathing in. Probably like that though. So what does elbow mean? Mm. I always wanted to be Elwood Blues. Oh, from the Blues Brothers. Uh-huh. They had their names tattooed on their knuckles, and I always used to write Elwood on my hands when I was a kid. <laughs> you know in the movie, Elwood only ever eats pieces of dry white toast? So one day in the fourth grade, I decided that I wanted to be Elwood for the rest of my life. So I packed my lunch and I only packed two pieces of toast. And I guess that's what I was gonna do for every meal forever. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> I guess my mom was checking what I was packing without me knowing about it. And she slipped half a BLT in my lunchbox. <laughs> well, your mom's a treasure. I think about that a lot. How she'd do that for me. Well, I need to hose off. Hey, how long have you been staying here? Why? Well, your dad, is, is he paying for all of this? He is? I just needed to get away from my parents for a while. You read Catcher in the Rye though, right? No. 
in my high school, they made us read the book about the kid that shoots the gun in the air on the 4th of July and kills somebody. Swallowing Stones. What? It's the name of the book. But Catcher in the Rye, it's about a sexually frustrated teenager that lives out of a hotel. It just, I mean, it seems a bit on the nose. I seem sexually frustrated? Well, first of all, I must have run over some garbage because I blew a tire on my bike. But, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. I could have caught a ride or whatever. Okay, here is why you can't fire me. You can't fire me because I'm your best closer. You really think Edie's going to clean up like I do? Or Derek? You can't fire me because of all the times I looked the other way. You can't fire me because of all the times I caught you creeping on my Facebook. Or all the times you came up to me and were just checking on me. Or, or all the times you tried to ply me to hang out with you after hours. And you know the most important reason you can't fire me? I quit. It's 106 miles to Chicago, and we've got half a tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. Is it half? Wait, what? Wait. Half a pack of. Oh. Half. A, we've got half a. Half a. Half. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> 